All right, welcome back. It's still Squat Matters showing right here um, on Super Screen TV. Um, that's um, the game between England and Wales. Yes, the beautiful game we did see. We were open. That's what we're going to see um, um, against Tunisia tomorrow and Nigeria. I hope to see something different. But um, the guys here, um, it's, they're not comfortable with what we might just be seeing tomorrow. So we're just hopeful that the game is going to go the way of nigeria because um the um, nigerians are really they aren't happy with what they did say um uh, with what they did saw against algeria on friday probably this time around there might just be a difference in that one away from that let's talk uh and badminton this time around um badminton federation of nigeria partners um school um schools in the country according to the president Fra uh, francis obi what a fantastic, good, um, welcoming development coming from um, the badminton president, Joel. Well, yes, <laughs> I, I really commend myself for that. But I hope it's, um, I, I don't know, who's going to bankroll um, this whole thing? That's it's the problem. I was going to speak to him. We were going to speak to him on, in the show today, but he's been in a meeting. Hopefully, by Wednesday, we might just call him in into the show. Probably, he might just give us uh, more details on how all of this thing is going to work in the yeah, country. Yeah, because what I saw is a big project. They didn't just come out and say things like this. You know, when you talk about secondary schools, you know, it's, it's continuity matters. Mm, you know, I facilities, agree. continuity, getting the, the players. But what I saw also, he said there are three players right now representing Nigeria in the, I mean, in the Olympic, which is very good. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure something big is going to come out of this if they follow the right steps and get the right people to, you know, handle the situation. You don't just bring them, bring them in the cars and stuff like this. Because Bambi, I mean, it's, it's, it's a sport where we are supposed to pick medals, you know, in the Olympics. So True. I'm very sure it has, it has a good plan. And then, you know, with um, what the plans they have on ground, I hope they execute properly and uh, get better results. Talking about plans, um, uh, we know we know him. I, for one, know him personally, and I understand. I know that he loves um, the game itself, and he has interest um, for um, the game. But I'm worried because um, we've seen situations higher whereby if it's not football, if it's not basketball, only recently um, people began to turn in, um, into watching tennis and the rest of them um, here in Nigeria. We're talking about badminton this time around. Can this be achievable? Well, um, like um, Gloria just said, it's, it's very, um, it's achievable and um, if you look at it, it could just be another um, gold mine for Nigeria, if it actually fly. Because I could remember back then when I was in secondary school, sports like cricket, Nigeria was doing very well. Mm. You know, we have, and the majority of the team, the national team that we had then, they were from secondary school, St. Peter's College. St. Gregory's and so if it can be supported by the government sponsors so I see no reason why it's uh, it will not be a success mm. but but the problem is you can't do it alone exactly then I, I, another thing I have noticed key. about these sports if, if you look at basketball badminton and some other sports those sports they were run by people that have love for that okay. sport but well, football is, is, um, <laughs> is another way around. <laughs> we, have, we just have businessmen. If it's not... So a, are you saying a match clinic doesn't have interest for the game? It does not have interest. Hmm. I don't believe you have interest. You agree with him, Joe? <laughs> are you saying Shell well, doesn't um, have interest no, for um, the game? What, what, what I find about Pinnick is he read marketing in school. So he's only showing his marketing side of, you know, I mean, I mean it's football mm. and... Um, I don't want to talk about Pinnock right now. It's going to yeah. be a long one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just only ask him anyway. Just it's on a long one. Um, a night, uh, on a lighter note, we're talking about badminton. And you, you've said a lot of things. Um, we're talking about um, sustainability here and also continuity. Because um, a situation whereby probably he has it, probably his tenure ends. Another president comes in, federation president comes in. Will they follow with what is the, the blueprint on paper? That's the major problem mm. we used to have in the country. If I if I if I'm opportunity to speak to, I'm going to tell them this. Look, you 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 have to work with the sport ministry and let them be a statute that everybody has to follow. Mm. It possibly review the constitution or the laws, you know, guiding this whole thing because you can't just do something and let it just go and to bed. It goes, yeah. So continuity matters. You know, the last time we had somebody like Mark Antonio talking about how 
they're going to have basketball team in you know, Nigeria, local, local government, and they're going to be continuity. That is what we're talking about. You can't just bring the this whole thing that you go to sleep and it's dead. Because we've seen stuff like that over time. So, but I'm very sure he is wise. He's um, experienced. He's very experienced. So he he is gonna, I mean, stamp his phone and look. You guys have to follow. If you don't, but yeah, they have to be checked and balances. But I'm very sure he knows what to do. Well, let's see how that goes. Like I said, um, we will try as much as possible to reach out to him so that he will speak to us um, on Wednesday in Sport Matters 2 in the afternoon as to regarding what his intentions um, are um, as to partnering um, with secondary schools in the country. Anyways, away from that, let's move into um, boxing this time around. I think it's a good news um, for Anthony Joshua because Tyson Fury um, versus Dante Wilder's bout has been cancelled, Joel. Is not too a good news. I'm going to say, <laughs> the reason, sort of, it is because this is yeah, always wanted to say. Yes, the, why I said it's not, it's not a, I mean, too a good news is he's going to fight Pulev in December. You're talking about AJ? Yeah, I'm talking about AJ. Oh, AJ okay. is going to fight Pulev in December. Mm. And um, we don't know the date that is fixed for him and Tyson Fury. I think it's February. February. Okay, fine. Look, look at the gap in the space and all that. Because he has to train. Because I remember he said something, he was like, he was still wearing his diapers when Fury was a professional, <laughs> you know. And, um, and 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 Fury's father have him, you know, um, you know, um, making statements and all that. So I think Joshua has a lot on his hand. He has a lot on his hand. Are you afraid, Antaya? Well, uh, well, I'm not afraid, but um, can he win the fight? Well, until when they fight, <laughs> you can't say. He's too close to call because Fure is a very technical fighter, and if you watch his, li uh, his last um, bout, him and uh, Dante Wilder, I don't think. Well, Joshua is also a technical uh, fighter, but then he has a lot. Just like uh, Joel said, he has a lot on his hand. He needs to train because the guy, this guy, <laughs> his head movements is movement on the on the ring so he's going to have a lot in his hand i'm and beginning to get scared because um <laughs> no you don't have to get scared um, you know, it's, it's a boxing Joshua, he if, has if never you, disappointed so if you lose the first one you have, yeah if you lose the first one you have opportunity to come back you know uh, and all that but like i said even he has been playing mind games fear is playing mind games tell you look i'm going to knock you out on the second round and stuff but <laughs> joshua being where he is he's still young age wise and all that so he, i think he has to train because he knows what he's going to face. Mm. You know, and technically, I give it to Fury. You know, but Joshua is aggressive. You know, but he, he punches so hard and all that. But Fury, I mean, we've, we've seen his past fight. This guy is deadly. You know, one punch and he's gone. So, <laughs> but I, I, I just believe Joshua is going to scale through one way or the other. Well, but if, well, if, if, well, if he doesn't put fear in it, yeah. it's, um, but it's, it's, even, it's even good for him to. Fine, I'm not praying for him to lose. <laughs> You understand? Hey, come on, it's not but about the issue yeah, is it's not about going at, into um, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed Ali lost three times and he came back three times. So it will be very good for him if he loses and come back, <laughs> you know. So, but I still feel just like Joy said, he stand the chance. But against Fury, Fury is very technical. Well, let's see how that will happen. You say February next year. Um, that's when um, when he's done fighting and um, pulling by um, November or December, December, or December. then um, we'll see what happens um, about um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua that um, fight I really really I can't wait to watch because this is long overdue and <laughs> I can't just wait to see how that um, fight is gonna um, pull out anyways away from that let's look at um, tennis this time around one man congratulations to him and um, once more winning Novak Djokovic to win his 13th um, French Open title and also equaling um, Roger Federer's um, record of 20 in Grand Slam. And we're talking about Rafael Nadal um, this time. And what a fantastic um, game it was for him against Novak Djokovic um, on Saturday. Yes, it was. You know, I, 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 I am very sure the tennis world is, is going to miss Nadal when he retires. Probably they could change rackets to his name and call it, you know, I mean, I'm uh, long in Nadal. This guy is simply fantastic. You know, he has met Djokovic like um, nine times. Mm. You know, lost uh, five times and won four. He's only lets you look. I'm the best in the world, even if he's ranked number two. Mm. You know, he has a lot to give to the. I mean, uh, long tennis world. And um, 
He's a very good player, no doubt about it. You know, coming out, even your hard court on the clay courts and all that, he's he's simply the best right now. Um, 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 tired, Novak Djokovic losing to Rafael Nadal. Um, is it a case of the fact that he doesn't understand playing on clay courts, or should we say, oh, Rafael Nadal is king of clay? Well, for me, is um, you know. Rafael Nadal is, is more like he was born on the clay, <laughs> you know. And uh, one funny thing about this tournament was that he never dropped points from the beginning to the end. And that was fantastic for him. But the issue is Djokovic played well, but Rafael Nadal was just better. He was better than him. And you can't take away anything from him. Just like you said, he's a legend. Mm, of and the game. He's a legend of the game. But, but the issue is, it was just too much. It was just too much for <laughs> Novak. <laughs> Although I rooted for Novak to win. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately I saw the yeah. results. Ah. You're like, oh, come <laughs> on, this is he made, he, made, he made a mess. <laughs> I want to put you guys on the sport this time around. Three men at every point in time. I always love to watch them. They, they used to be four, but one um keeps disappointing like arsenal i beg your pardon for all arsenal and fans i'm talking about andy Muriel this time around so now i narrowed it down to three um good tennis players in the world i'm talking about rafael and nadal novak Djokovic, and um roger federer for you the best so far i give it to federer federer yeah tayo um i give it to federer well, because I want to change. federer has technique he has <laughs> power he has everything. And, and the, the truth is, he's model. not relenting. Mm. He's a model. just come back and still pick one. So I don't see him retiring anytime soon. So in the case of, he, because he didn't play for this um, tournament, is that the reason why Rafael Nadal won? Mm, no, he, he might not be like he that. He's always been the champion of the clay court. You know, but yeah. the, the issue is, Federer... Would we have seen a different um, scenario? It's in well, a different yeah. case. Yeah, you know, one can tell what happened in the near future. He might just come back and you know, do his thing and, you know start winning again anyways both of them said roger federer but for me i want to change um the table this summer any time any day i always go for rafael nadal anyways <laughs> we're going to take a short break when we come back more to come we'll talk about the international features and also um the friendlies we'll be back shortly <laughs>